How to win at Conkers. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. The Conker season is upon us, and if you're planning to get one up on your mates by defeating their prized Conker, then Video Jug has teamed up with the NSPCC's Champion Conquerors to show you all the dark arts of defeating your enemy's prized nut. And remember, it's meant to be fun. Step 1 What are Conkers? Conkers are the seeds of the horse chestnut tree. A conker is a hard brown nut that's encapsulated in a green prickly shell which falls from the trees at the beginning of autumn. Step 2. How to play conkers. If you're serious about your game, choose your conkers wisely. The best ones are symmetrical in form, firm to the touch and should not be cracked. Make a hole through the middle of your conker, going from the dull area at the top and down through the bottom. Choose a sturdy bit of string as this adds to the power of your conker. Thread a length about 12 inches long through the hole and tie a knot at one end. The two players, each with a conker threaded on a piece of string or a shoelace, take it in turns to hit each other's conker until there is only one left. If they miss, they are allowed up to two further goes. If the string tangles, the first player to call strings, or snags, gets an extra shot. If a player drops his conker or it is knocked from his hand, the other player can shout stamps and immediately stamps on the conker. But should its owner first shout no stamps, then stamps are disallowed and the conker hopefully remains intact. This can cause great pain to the loser and sheer joy for the winner. Conkers is an incredibly competitive and addictive game. Friends will soon become enemies. If you manage to smash your opponent's conker to smithereens, your conker gets the score that your opponent's conker had, plus one for winning. So, for example, if two nonners play, the surviving conker will become a oneer. But if a twoer plays a threeer, the surviving conker will become a sixer. Step 3. Cheat to win. Cunning conquerors know that the best way to win is to cheat, and there are many traditional ways of, illegally, Hardening conkers before the battle. The first and most famous method is to soak it in vinegar, a dastardly deed that actually got X Python Michael Palin disqualified from the 1993 National Conker Championships. If you fancy this, then leave your conker soaking in vinegar for at least 8 hours, or try substituting paraffin or even salt water. The second method is the bake. Place your conker in the oven for no more than half an hour at over 200 degrees Celsius, or gas mark 6. This will harden it. If you're really keen, you can try hollowing it out and filling it with glue, or just leaving it in the dark for a year so it ends up all shriveled and gnarled. Or, if you're really, really keen, you can always try passing it through the belly of a pig. The conker will harden by soaking in the pig's stomach juices. Then you search through the pig's waist to find the conker. Step 4. Professional tips. We had a pig, we had a pig when I was growing up, we tried that. I can vouch that one will actually work, that's one of the better ones, that, that actually works that one. My presence here tonight is because I'm chairman of the committee, that uh, has organised uh, this event, uh, the NSPCC City Conquer Cup Challenge. All the conquerors are supplied by the NSPCC. We will have no cheating here tonight. And the trick is to be very steady, very steady, and get a good swing. Like, well, that was not a very good swing. Right there. I'd go bigger is better, I think, on conquerors, definitely. Yeah, that's when you discover you're, you're going from a boy to a man, is how good you are at playing conquerors. Of course, a lot of people haven't played it since they were about 10. Um, and. Uh, but it's still played, and long may it continue to be played. Happy conquering.